Good Thursday morning, my dear Christian brother or sister. I hope this finds you well. I hope you're working your way to the end of the week. I hope you're looking forward to Christmas. But more than anything else, of course, I hope you're living your very best life in Jesus Christ. Well, yesterday, Nancy was driving me crazy. I mean, normally Nancy is a kind, sweet, and even-tempered person who very seldom demands anything from me or others. But... The closer she gets to Christmas, the more manic she becomes. I mean, even though this year we should have a light Christmas, not a whole bunch of family coming for the holidays, nonetheless, she is in full-fledged Christmas mode. And as usual, I found myself caught in the crosshairs of her harried and stressed preparations. So, on this particular morning, I was sitting at the computer trying to compose myself to work on my Bible study when she came barreling into the room demanding I stop and immediately help her with whatever it is she was working on. As I looked into her exasperated, harried expression for a moment, just a moment, mind you, I came very close to quoting Luke 10 and Jesus' words to Martha when she was in a similar state. But I thought... Uh, better of it for three reasons. The first is that she would no doubt be more angry, and the second was because it would make the situation worse, and the third was because I didn't want to have to sleep in the car. (laughs) So I paused, I took a breath, said a prayer for patience, reminded myself that, as it says in Proverbs 15.1, a gentle answer turneth away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger, and I asked her how I could help. You know, the sense of relief in her demeanor was instant and immensely rewarding. Patience is often hard to come by, isn't it? But what a wonderful gift it is to find patience in stress and to give that gift to others when they desperately need it from us. So that's what I found in my special Advent calendar today. In Galatians 5.22, Paul lists patience as the fruit of the Holy Spirit, calling it forbearance. He says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Patience is a gift that works incredible magic on us as well as those we are patient with. In fact, we actually become transformed by patience. When we are patient with others, we shift focus in a truly Christ-like way, putting them first instead of ourselves. Patience shows our willingness to truly do unto others as they, we would have them do unto us. See, with patience, we grow in our relationship with God. And the Bible says, once again in Proverbs, this time in 1911, a person's wisdom yields patience. The key for me, though, is to realize that patience, well, true, lasting patience, isn't something we can develop on our own. No, nah, it's, it's a gift from God given us to us by the Holy Spirit. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful for the guidance of the Holy Spirit as he leads me and he slowly transforms me into an image of Christ. It's through little fruits like patience making its way into my life that I can see the change day after day. So today, I'm thankful for the gift of patience, both the patience the Lord is giving me in my life that I can share with others and the patience he shows with me as I learn and when I mess up. I mean, think about it. Where would any of us be if he weren't patient with us? I mean, can we do less than be patient with others? I don't think so. So today, let's use that gift of patience with somebody else. The clerk at the grocery store, that angry voice on the phone, or the loved one who is at the end of his or her rope and desperately needs our help. You know, it can make all the difference in both their lives and ours. Well, I hope you make today a fantastic day. I hope you're looking forward to a great weekend. Um, Of course, our Christmas is coming, but more than anything else, I hope you know that I'm here should you need me, and I truly love you all. Have a wonderful day, and Merry Christmas.